Welcome to 3ds Max news. This is the month of February, the shortest month of the year, but in 3ds Max we had a lot of cool stuff. And maybe the biggest thing has been from Typhlo. We had Typhlo 1.012. It has been six months since the last update, and you know that when Typhlo is quiet for a while, is that something big is coming, and this time has been huge. We had Typhlo terrain. Typhlo terrain basically is inside Typhlo particle system and it comes with over 20 operators to be able to do all types of things. It can use CPU but it shines when you are using GPU because with GPU it's really fast, you can do almost everything in real time. And you have erosion, deformation and shallow water solver, that the shallow water solver is amazing. Uh, being able to see this water in real time it's quite a thing. Complex layer based color and texture generation, unlimited tile color and mass creation, multi tile blending, easy high map, normal map, color map, and mask exports, adaptive meshing, particle scatterings, per operator caching, mesh to terrain conversions, and way more. It's super cool what we can do right now. So, something that was never possible inside 3ds Max, you always had to use external tools and then import it into 3ds Max. But now it's not only that it's very fast and that it's very easy to use and that it's very flexible, but you can create the terrain and you can scatter directly using the great tools that we have for scattering in Typhlow and you can render directly this and do simulations, do whatever. It's super powerful. Tyson made this update available for all Typhlow Pro users. So even if you were one of the first to buy Typhlow Pro, and it's more than a year, you, you will still be able to grab this new update for free. But not all has been only the terrain, it had way more stuff. Uh, some of the new things is that now we have more noise parameters to all noise rollouts. There's support for Fume FX6. Presets has been added to curve control with a right click. There is a new time independent mode that this alone is huge. And fixes on Boronoi, black faces and a lot, a ton of bug fixes and a ton of new additions, small additions here and there, that makes this version a huge one. But we had more than 1.012 because we had 1.013 that brings more terrain presets, fixes on mask, added multi-tile input options and random orientation on tile operator, ability to burst terrains from other flows and a lot of improvements. And then we had 1.014 that adds a new trail modifier that, as you can see on, on the video on the background that very cool to create all types of um, motion blur or effects the, the typical effect that you can see here also internally physics has been upgraded to 5.1 SDK and more fixes on two terrains we had a lot of cool tests on Typhlo group people has been super excited with this new release of Typhlo and on the Typhlo group on Facebook, people have been posting all types of very cool experiments, new terrains, a scattering, rendering with V-Ray, rendering with Arnold, rendering with different uh, render motors. I have been very excited as well. And on my Patreon, I did over 13 Typhlo tutorials covering terrains, from the most basic stuff to create advanced textures, working with mass, a scattering objects over the terrain, working with tiles to add more detail on certain areas on your terrain, interacting with other flows with your existing terrain procedurally, using terrain not just for terrains but using terrain for other functions, using real map data inside terrains and way more. So if you are one of my patrons you get access to these 13 Typhlow tutorials, but I did as well other tutorials because I cover a ring modifier in 3ds Max. I wanted to create uh, this building that it's procedural and I am using array in a lot of different ways. I think it's pretty interesting and not only array because I will be using some Typhlo modifiers and some of the new OSL maps that uh, was introduced in 3ds Max 2023.3 to add variations on the OSL map using the array objects created. So if you like what you see, join my Patreon, we are close to 200 Patreons. Thank you so much, guys. On the community channel here in YouTube, I asked what people want to see on the next Typhlo, and we had over 350 boats, and people really want buildings. I was expecting that to get, uh, or that people would be interested with the car traffic uh, solver, but looks like people is more interested in buildings. So let's see what we will get in the future. 
that we already know kind of because Tyson already showcased what he's working on. So the next build will be able to import the helper bonds that comes in Mixamo rigs as meshes. This will be great to automate the process of creating drag rolls as you can see on this video, super cool stuff. In 3ds Max we get as well V-Ray 6.1, the first update for V-Ray 6, and it comes with a series of new features. We had V-Ray Decal, allow now to create project textures cylindrically, and allows to add BAM map data, as you can see on this example, pretty useful to add decals on cylindrical objects. You can now define the resolution independently per camera, initial USD and a stage export, improved performance, opening V-Ray scenes that now it's faster, masking for lens effects and the noiser, and way more features and improvements. Check the website because they add these videos that you can see here in detail, they are covering all these new updates. A small update as well on Forest Pack update 8.08. Forest sets that were introduced in Forest Pack 8 now can be used for object areas. A new function that brings edge streaming mode to forest effects and other improvements. Joker Martini released Texture Set Loader that allows to easily create all types of PBR materials in bulk. Select your folder that contains all your textures for diffuse, normals, roughness, bump maps, etc. and the script will automatically place by name and texture to the correct slot. It supports also multiple renderers like V-Ray, Corona, Redshift, Native 3 ds Max Materials, Arnold and others, and allow to work in multiple color workflows. This script costs $8. UV Reactor is now on beta testing. It allows to modify UVs in real time without needing a modifier. So you are able to have the edit windows always open and also look really fast. The latest version is the beta 0.1.11, featuring speed increases and bug fixes. Remember that it's a beta and you can expect some bugs, but looking pretty nice. In tutorials we have Torque. Torque is a masterclass done by Redefine FX. Over 130 video lessons covering Type Flow, Phoenix, V-Ray Illumination and After Effects composition. Gspitella will cover all the steps to do from scratch all the scenes that you can see on this video. Looks very complete and if you want to get into BFX, a pretty good deal. And in 3ds Max is only for Archviz, we have this very cool short film done by Jorge Enrique Valdeón. It's over 28 minutes long, all done by himself. All done in 3ds Max and rendered in Redshift. It's very cool, always I am saying it, when I see a stuff done by one single guy and yeah, you can do a lot of cool stuff if you have the time, the patience, and you are good at it. Matthias de Velter did a cool breakdown for this armored vehicle done for Worm Feinstein uh, video game. He is using 3ds Max, Modo, and Substance 3D Painter. The textures are done by A.E. Sanchez. Mohamed Gadimi made a flying car model for Chris Brown's official music video, Psychic. He shared a close-up of the car on the Stack Facebook group, and you can see the video clip, the final video clip that I see that already had over 4 million views, so I didn't know this guy, but looks pretty popular. We have a new 3ds Max channel called 3ds Max Keyanim. The author says that he will share animations on in 3ds Max. I would like to know a little more of information about this video because it looks very cool. Uh, it's the only one that is available on this channel right now and it features a cool fight done with our old friend Biped Studio and looks amazing. So this month it's always short because it's the shortest month of the year but quite a lot of things and remember that next month is March and in March usually a new 3ds Max is around this time so and yeah I ask as well on the YouTube community what people want to see on the new Max and I have to say it is very tight as well a lot of boats over 300 boats and you can see that 
people want a little of everything. There is people that want animation, people want more modeling, people want more VFX. So we will see. And you can let me know in the comments what do you expect to see in maybe just some weeks. And for sure, I will be covering whatever we have available. And yeah, I need to prepare a lot of videos. So that's all, guys. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot to all my Patreons. Remember, with my Patreon, you get exclusive content this month, over 14. I think that over 15 videos only this month. I cannot guarantee that I will do so many videos uh, each month, but I am trying to do at least two exclusive videos for my Patreons each month, covering different tutorials. Mostly type flow, but I am trying to cover all things in all new stuff in 3ds Max. So thank you so much guys and see you soon. Bye.